Yo, what it is, what it is, the two boy tacos and workouts, and we're here with another one. That's right, another episode. Welcome to the best podcast in Long Beach, California. But before we get started with this week's episode, do me a huge favor. Hit, hit that like, hit that subscribe, because we really need your support. Now, let's get started with this week's episode. All right, Nicole, this is me, Little Hater. And guess what, Doug? This podcast is brought to you by the Patio Nuts. You had me at hola. So go out and get some of these nuts. What it is, what it is. Podcast. Yeah, there we go. Uh, Before we get started, once again, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, the Tacos and Workouts channel on the YouTube. And don't forget to follow us on Spotify under the What It Is, What It Is podcast. That's right. So you can watch us live here on, on YouTube, Tacos and Workouts. But if you're on the go, you got the workout, you got things to do, and you still want to, uh, you know, participate in this awesome programming, you could also listen in audio format on the What It Is, What It Is podcast on Spotify. All right, guys, we have a very special get, a guest, a good friend of mine, and uh, we're going we're gonna to let him in. Um, and I believe here he is. Hey, how you doing, brother? What's going on, my brother? Salute. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Go my- ahead and introduce yourself. I go by the name of Bond Servant Nathan David. I was named after my grandmother, Josie Rodriguez, who's up there working for the Lord, dancing on streets of gold. She named me Nathan David. Nathan, the prophet. David, a man after God's heart. Sanchez, a family of God. Come on, somebody. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, I I met uh, Nathan uh, sometime last year. Uh, We kind of met in... in, uh, uh, online and he kind of reached out to me and and he uh, he wanted me to uh, kind of come out and do a review for for uh, La Bonita restaurant. Uh, do you remember that when we went down and we did that that those videos for La Bonita restaurant? Brother, that was an awesome time. Um, <laughs> it was an honor and a privilege to have you out there at La Bonitas. And let me tell you, they have not stopped coming for them tacos, bro. You know it was awesome. Praise God. Um, I think we had another brother uh, out there as well, brother Damian, Michael Hoffman, and uh, a few others out there. But again, if you don't know La Bonita's Mexican restaurant, Palm Springs, California, downtown Palm Springs, come down and try them. Also, uh, I think you can go on Brother uh, Tacos and Workouts YouTube channel, um, subscribe and like, and uh, check out the video. It was amazing. Had a good time. I'm still stuffed from those tacos, and I'm still eating tacos. Yeah, those tacos, those tacos are amazing, man. You guys, you guys find yourself in Palm Springs, right? You go out there and you're spending a day. Go to La Bonita restaurant. They have Chef David's got these great tacos, all these different taco types. He gets excited. He starts telling you about the tacos and what how we could do. And you know, you, you'll find a, a taco that's right for you. He's got quite a selection there. Yeah. So um, that's to have you, uh, you know, here on the show, man. Um, you know, wh- why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and what do you do, brother? Um, well, I was born in Hobbs, New Mexico on Christmas Day, 12-25-1982. Um, moved out to California. My mom remarried, um, brought us out here. Um, the gentleman that she remarried, uh, my father, you know, I give him uh, all praise and thanks, you know, for taking us in. Uh, my real dad was murdered out there in Texas, and uh, he came in and uh, just took care of me and my two older brothers. I also have another brother and a sister, and just found out I have a sister that lives in Texas that was from my real dad. But with that, uh, you know, just moved out here to California and started a life um, and just kind of went to grade school um, all through the Coachella Valley, um, grew up, started a lot of uh, uh, trouble. You know, but God can take your mess into a message. Um, but as we speak now, um, I deliver parts for Toyota of the Desert. I'm a parts delivery guy for Jesus. <laughs> so, okay. you know, a lot of people, you know, they don't know that because they think, you know, they see me out there in the ministry, out there, different cities, different states, you know. Um, so they're like, not a whole lot know that I work. I actually work because um, it, it just keeps me humble. It keeps me content and everything, you know. Give me a, a, a plunger. Give me a, some Windex. I'll clean toilets. I'll clean windows, whatever it may be. I'm a humble dude. 
you know, and uh, full of humility. And um, uh, so right now as we speak, yeah, I work at Toyota of the Desert. I just got off right now. I didn't think I was going to make it in time for this uh, live, but God, you know, God made a way. Praise God, right? That's right. That's right, brother. Yeah, you know what? Uh, sometimes people see us on, on you know, what, what I do and what, what, what uh, Nathan here does. And, and people uh, uh, make the assumption that we don't have jobs, but no, we we actually we all have jobs, man. But um, what you do is amazing, brother. I see you out there, and you know every weekend, you know you're 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 a hip hop artist for the Lord, right? Yeah, Christian artist, and uh, you know, um, wherever they call us, we go. You know, where God guides, God provides. But first and foremost, let's open up with prayer. Let's let's do it. Let's, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we just come before you, Father God. We thank you for this day, Father God. We thank you for all that you do, Father God. We thank you for your salvation, Father God. And Lord, we ask that you have your way in us, Holy Spirit. We ask that you take out any distractions right now, Father God, and you just work through us, Father God. I ask that you bless those tuning in right now, Father God, wherever they may be in their life they lead, Father God. I uh, Whether they're backsliding, whether they just need strength to draw closer to you, Father God, I ask that your healing hand be upon all them. And I thank you, Father God, again, for your healing, your forgiveness, your restoration in you, Father God. Most importantly, thank you for salvation through your son, your precious son, who was nailed to that tree, Father God, for our salvation, Father. It was love that uh, kept him on that cross, Father God. And Lord, again, just have your way uh, right now. Those that are tuning in, Father God, um, in the living rooms, the, the, the highways, the byways, Father God, through the Androids, through the Apple phones, Father God, touch their precious souls right now. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, brother. Wow, man. He... You know, my brother, because, you know, we seek first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness will be added to you. you know? And he uh, says that in Matthew 6, 33. And, you know, what does that mean, brother Nate? Well, that means just kind of put God first and everything, you know, seek uh, is defined as seeking in order to find, to aim, to strive after. Um, it means just look for, just go after you know, just search him. God um, reigns right now, here and now, right now. He just wants a relationship with you. And, uh, you know, it's always important to kind of stay in the word of God, you know, because you want to bear fruit. And that's what I was doing as soon as I got off the clock, you know, just worshiping the music to K-Love, uh, my Tia Kathy's favorite station. Hi, everybody, real quick. You know, big shout out to the entire body of Christ. Uh, big shout out to my wife and kids. I love y'all very much. Thank you so much for the love and support. Every single body tuning in right now, um, the entire Coachella Valley, my best friend. Um, I don't want to say any names because I'm not sure if they want me to say their names, you know, so I got to respect them. But salute to everybody in Hobbs, New Mexico, Lubbock, Texas, Midland, and Odessa, um, as far as Mississippi, um, Arizona, we got family. But everyone in the entire Coachella Valley, I also, you know, pray and uh, and uh, pray for my enemies, you know. And, 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 and uh, I say that because God calls us to pray for those. You know, I did a lot of bad out here in the valley. I never murdered nobody, um, you know, but I, I robbed a lot of liquor stores, did a lot of beer runs, um, you know, caused a lot of havoc with the party crew that I was involved in. But I still love each and every body. And, uh, you know, um, again, big shout out to everybody that's been out there to show love and support. And uh, and uh, thank you again, brother, for, for allowing me on this. It's, it's an honor and a privilege. You know, uh, again, the first day that I, I met you, um, it was awesome, you know, and to stay in touch. Even when the cameras are off, you still find bond servant Nathan, you know, serving because Jesus didn't come to, to uh, be served. He came to serve. So that's why, I, you know, go by bond servant because I'm a bond servant of the most high. And again, I explained why, you know, they named me Nathan David and, you know, um, but, but yeah, brother, it was a, it was, it was just a blessing to meet you. And even when the cameras turned off, not many know that you went through a lot of health issues. And we were there to intercede in prayer for you, my brother. You know, I, I, I just thank God every day that you're still here with us, you know. And uh, uh, you, you, almost, you almost got taken out, you know, but that devil is a liar. And, uh, again, you know, just shout out to everybody tuning in right now. Um, it's the will of the Lord, and this is why we, we do what we do, you know, in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah, amen. Um, quick question, man. Um, I think someone said, uh, how long has it been since, uh, since, since you went, you converted into, into what you do now? Um, that's a question that somebody posed out. 
it's only been about a year since I really started um, doing this Christian music. And, and, and it's just a tool and a gift and to edify the body and point them to the light of Jesus Christ. You know, I'm not looking to be the, the, the hardest, the dopest, the, the best Christian artist. That ain't, that's not in my vocabulary. I'm a humble dude. If many of those that know who I am know that I never charge for my time. It's a blessing because salvation is free. Um, those that know me, they call me. They let me know this is what's going on. I pray, I fast, and the Lord sends us, you know, because the God I serve, my God uh, provides, you know. Um, where God guides, God provides. I don't know what else to say, but, you know, uh, that's why I'm big on uh, Matthew 6, like I was just sharing on, you know, because it's him. It's all him. But, yeah, so I've been doing it for about a, a year, um, I think in a, uh, almost a year and a half now, I would say. Um, but I've been following the Lord Jesus Christ um, for quite some time, but I never allowed, um, I would say, myself or any of those others to properly disciple me, to properly, you know, just really teach me how to pray, um, to really seek the Lord uh, fully, all surrendered, all in, sold out. Because at one point when I raised my hands up and made that um, confession to to uh, allow him to be my Lord, my my you know, personal Lord and Savior, um, I had fingers crossed behind my back. You know, I wasn't mm -hmm. fully surrendered. Uh, so I went through a whole lot uh, with that walk, but it, it really taught me so much now as we speak. Um, so it, it's very important to, you know, um, because if it was easy, then we would all know God is what I'm saying, because um, without allowing the Holy Spirit to fully work in your life, you're going to have issues. You're going to be lukewarm. You're going to have one foot in the world, one in the church. And we know it does not work like that. You can even ask the pastor that God placed in my life. He would tell you straight up, man, you're just lip service. You're full of excuses. And at that time, you know, uh, I wasn't fully discipled. So the flesh wants to resurrect every time. And there's a few times that I wanted to go after them. But, you know, God humbled me and God allowed these things for me to go through go through because it's so hard you know so yeah yeah I'll, I'll say about a year and a half but i've been following the lord for quite some years but now i'm on fire like never before like i should have been from the start but it was an overdose that uh fully woke me up and i fully surrendered and blocking no more blessings come on somebody that devil's a liar and uh he's just out to kill and destroy and deceive and those watching you know i ain't religion i don't do religion you know, I do a personal relationship as it calls in the in the word of God, you know, the basic instructions before leaving earth. You know, we're called to just make that personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Um, so with that said, yeah, it was just an overdose. And, and I was in a backslidden condition for a while because, again, I wasn't fully uh, discipled. Um, I didn't allow the Holy Spirit to really work in my life. Um, I was still out there um, smoking pot, snipping lines, um, trolling on the meth pipe. Um, you know, and, 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 and going to church and thinking, oh yeah, that's the Christian walk. But no, man, I, I was setting the wrong example to my cousins, to anybody that I was coming across. And, uh, you know, so I wasn't fully surrendered. And, uh, when that OD happened, I still thank God to this day. And that devil should have took me out while he had the chance, because man, I tell you, um, I, I love, uh, I'm on fire like never before, but I fan that flame cause I don't want to burn out. Um, so I was out backsliding, um, and, and for the backslider, for the believer, um, it's a lot harder to come out, um, you know, but, but things weren't the same. The wheat didn't taste the same. The lines, the beer didn't taste the same. Um, and, and, and again, it's important to stay in the word of God because then that helps you, uh, build ammunition to defeat that enemy, you know, when it comes your way. So it was an overdose that, um, really woke me up, um. I was out there in Palm Springs. Um, I bought some cocaine. I'm just going to be real. I ain't going to sugarcoat anything. Um, so I bought some cocaine. They laced it with methamphetamine and some fentanyl. Um, you know, I was up for about two days. Then I bought a, a, a vape pen off the streets on one of them marijuana oil pens. And uh, I think just from being up, something interacted in my body. Um, and uh, next you know, uh, I'm in my wife April's uh, passenger seat of her car. Um, again, no reason for me to be doing all this, you know, but that's what happens when you don't stay rooted in the word of God or you don't stay in fellowship because we never want to forsake the gathering of the saints. You know, we we don't go to church uh, with a building because we are the church. 
So we don't go to the building on Wednesday, Sundays and Wednesdays, and just listen to what the pastor is sharing. We got to get fed outside of those buildings, you know, uh, uh, Monday through Sunday, 24-7. So I wasn't doing any of that. So um, I ended up indulging, and next thing you know, we turn uh, – we turn up Washington Street, and next thing you know, I started going into a seizure and a minor stroke or however my wife explained it. And next thing you know, I was out for about, you know, two minutes if so. Um, she's pounding on my chest. Um, she hit me about the eighth time, and that's when I just woke up, like, deep breath. Um, but I, I don't want to say I seen heaven, I seen hell, but if death, uh, if that was death, it happens just like that. But death has no sting for the believer. But I think God allowed that trial to go in there and battle those that demon because we battle many demons. We don't wear name tags that says, oh, Nathan's struggling with methamphetamine. Um, April's struggling with uh, gambling. Um, JR's struggling with gluttony. You know, we're just going to keep it real because I struggle with all that too, you know, um, and, and the list is endless. So I think God allowed that to go in, take me out so he could do that battle because then uh, uh, when he when he saved me again, you know, um, uh, I felt full deliverance. I don't need it. I don't want it. No urges. Um, fully surrendered, you know, and they're messaging me right now, now to my entire family. I love you. And I thank God that I'm here. And I love each and every one of you out there in Hobbs, New Mexico. Pastor Mac, salute to you, but to God be the glory. Um, and I say that because after this happened, you know, um, I didn't share with my kids for about three months. I got home, you know, um, uh, checked myself out of the hospital, refused all that because I know the God I serve and I know what um, Jesus, you know, can do. He's the ultimate pain taker. Um, he heals, he forgives. And so remember just going to the cross. So I'm not trying to jump so, off on so a this, rabbit trail here, but. Uh, so, so this happened This you know, when you had your, your overdosing, this was like about a year and a half, maybe two years ago. Is that what you're telling me? Or a little bit a longer now, than that? Uh, now, um, uh, sober and alert. Um, walking strong in the Lord right now. So all this, you know, happened prior to us starting the the Christian music, you know. Um, and then once I fully surrendered, man, God started showering me with those blessings. And not that's and that's not why we come to the Lord. We come to the Lord because we're filthy sinners who need a savior. You know, Mary was a filthy sinner, and that was her son, but she needed him still. You know. Um, so, so with that, it was like, then that's when God started really working. And he introduced me to a brother by the name of Christian Garcia. He allowed us to come together through, through the Instagram while Lucky was, I think he was, well, they call him Lucky, um, Luciano from Houston, Texas. He was okay. SPM's right hand man um, from Dope House okay, Records. Well, why don't we put, put a quick pin on, under that and we're going to get right back to that. Because what I want to do right now. Uh, you know, before we get too, too ahead of ourselves, I want to show everybody the music video that you have. And I think you're going to like it. Look, uh, this is this is my brother, Nathan David Sanchez. He's a hip hop, um, you know, artist, you know, for the Lord. He's a Christian rapper. Uh, he's a musician and he's out there every every weekend, you know, proclaiming the name of the Lord, sharing his testimony. He already told you, you know, uh, something that happened to him not too long ago. And he's giving us his testimony why he decided to give his his his, his uh, life to the Lord. And with that said, let's check out his music, man, because I think he's a very talented individual. And with that being said, I need everybody to go and, and subscribe to his channels. We're gonna link all his channels on the description below. You know, so make sure you could follow him on, on YouTube, on Instagram, and, and Facebook, and all that. But let's let's get to his his video. We just we cut a a, a quick little uh, snippet. So we could have everybody enjoy it. And if you guys want to actually see this music video, guys, it's up on, on YouTube as well. So just do me a favor, follow for, uh, follow our guest here, Nathan David Sanchez, and, and, and you could check out all his stuff. Just a dope fiend in the streets of TP. Set free, so Jesus, all I need. Crank it up and throw it up. Let me show you how it's done. Deny my flesh on the daily. Thank you, God, for my babies. 
thank you God for no slur. Time to let my light shine, even in them darkest places, cause we're living in them last days. So we ain't got no time to waste. This ain't no playground. We stay in that battlefield, more like that mission field. Just like that Bible says, Holy Spirit guided me, so I don't care what this devil thinks. Can't wait until they lock you up, washed up by his precious blood. Just like I said before, sanctified and sanctified. Wow, that's amazing. Check that out, man. That that that's a, a great, a great um, you know, uh you know, uh hip hop video right there. Uh man, it just goes to show, man, how, how great um, you know, the Lord is within Nathan, man. Uh, I think we lost him uh right now. Uh, I think we're we're gonna wait for him to come back on. But yes, that's what he does. He does the, the hip hop and, and you know what? I met him. Um you know, he reached out to me and, and we did that thing at La Bonita restaurant. And uh, he told me that he does music, and uh, you know what? Um, it, it, it's it's awesome to meet somebody like that. Um, and uh, that's his music right there, man. And uh, I think it's amazing that he he goes out there every weekend and he does what he does, man. So uh, let's see if we could try to get him back on here. Give me one quick second, guys. I'm gonna be right back. So uh, give me one second. Let's see if we could do this. And we are live, by the way. Um, you know, so when we have these little technical difficulties. It's kind of what we do. Just bear with us for a quick second. Let me try to get them back on. All right, so sorry about that. So I sent him the message. Um, I, you know, I think he was having a def technical difficulties, and that's probably um, why why he, he kind of clicked off. Um, you know what? So we're going to wait for him to come back on. Uh, but meanwhile, we do that, right? I'm going to show you the actual date of how we met. This is actually how we met. And uh, you know what? This is an interaction that we had with Little Hater. Let's check it out. Goodies, donations, T-shirts, $10, proclaiming the name of Christ. Out here with my new album. Well, hey, what are you doing, dog? Right here promoting my new CD, dog. Oh, that's me, my dog. Hey, wait a minute. That's you. And that's you, Little Hater. You know that's right. I go by the name of Bond Servant Nathan David Sanchez. You can find me on Instagram, Jesus Servant 760 Facebook, Nathan April. Out here, I got my latest new track, On My Way, featuring Christian Garcia. And now I got my brother in Christ. Shalom, me, homie. That's me, dog. That's me. We even got the same looks. You want to look like me, dog? That's right. That's <laughs> Christ doing what it does. We're little hater. You already know. Hey, guys. Check him out, dog. Get the CD. There you go. That's that's the day where, where Nathan met little hater. I was there as well, so I got to meet him that day. Um, you know, and uh, he's always proclaiming, like I said, he's a hip hop artist, right? He's got his CD. He's going out to different places. You know, he travels up and down. Uh, I think he's been to like uh, Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, and California. He's just up and down, just sharing his testimonials, man. Uh, you know, with his music, and you know, obviously, you know, the Lord touched him, and and there's greater, bigger things for him to be doing, and and you know what, he took that opportunity, and and you know, he's doing good things with it, man. He said that he's been doing this for about a year now, and and he's come a, uh, such a long way, man. I, I I know people that want to start doing like stuff in like either TikTok, YouTube music industry and it takes him forever just to get started and and he's already doing it within, within a year and uh you know he he has uh, music videos and he's actually has a cd and stuff like that so this is why it's important that we support him on his journey right it, he's doing a good things man you know it, it's uh if, if you could support hip-hop artists you know that are not in the christian and and they're rapping about stuff that they're not supposed to why not you know uh help somebody with the with a like with the subscribe or even uh you know request his 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 album what now we could we could definitely um you know do that for somebody who's working hard you know and and not, not, is working hard but also you know to help better people man this is why why uh you know our connection with 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 David works because um you know he's a good guy and uh, not only did, did we have um you know uh, a good day there that day but we we also did like a <laughs> mini video of this video and and uh, I'll show it to you guys in a bit hey we lost you there brother <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, come on, somebody. Man, that devil. 
<laughs> but we got you back. We got you back. I stream right now, man. I'm telling you, that devil does not want me out here sharing <laughs> the truth of God's word. I'm sure brother, he wants to take me out. Uh, but he, he Almighty God, praise be to God for jumping me back in. Um, you know, brother, let's pick up right where we left off. I, I yes. thank you, brother. You came in with that wash by the blood. Come on, somebody. <laughs> day by day ministry. What's up, my brothers? Day by day. Uh keep me in prayer right now. Start praying. Start interceding in prayer because that devil is a liar. All right, man. Uh, l l l why don't you get a little bit closer to, to the to the camera? There you go. Just look. a little bit closer. There you go. That that's good right there. We could see you better and hear you better. Uh I think uh the conversation to what we were talking about, you were telling us about Lucky Luciano and, and your other artists, and I wanted to go ahead and show the video before we got ahead of, our, 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 ahead of ourselves. And but you were saying about about your hip hop uh, friends and how you yeah, got started. Yeah, so yeah, so so God introduced me, put me and Christian Garcia together. Many of them uh, know him as Lucky Luciano. Um, it was an article that he had posted on his Instagram when little. Nas X came out with them devil Nike shoes and um, my cousin Anthony I love you so much cousin uh, keep me in prayer too that devil's a liar um, my cousin told me about it and then I seen uh, Christian uh, posted on his Instagram so um, I, I believe I just got out of church and um, uh, the building excuse me again because we are the church um, and uh, I, I messaged him real quick, and he, he returned the message. And uh, we just started keeping in touch from there. And our testimonies are very similar of the lifestyles that we lived. We both come from the industry. I was in the industry for about 15 years. Almost came this close to selling out to Satan, this close to selling my soul. Um, but thank God that he had his hand over me, Emmanuel, God with us. Um, so with that, um, then, then me and the Christian hit, uh, linked up. We started talking. Um I was provided a, a nice instrumental with the hook already um, because uh, I, I was holding on to it, but now I know why God had me hold on to it because he was going to use his, you know, for his glory. Um, so then we linked up, started talking, we shared. Um, then I brought up the idea of the, of, of the song, and um, he said, well, yeah, I'm very interested. You know, he heard the, the beat with the hook, and he said, yeah, it doesn't sound worldly. It's ready, you know, and I had a brother in Christ to help put that together. Um, but I, I fully wasn't right at that time. Like I said, I was backsliding. I was one foot in the world, one in the uh, one in the building. And um, he talked and we talked and we I said, well, before we do this, you know, give me a call. So I know it's real because a lot of fake news is going on at that time and still going on right now. Fake news. And uh, and, and only listen to the good news, the word of Jesus Christ. And, um, you know, um, so he called. He called my wife April's cell phone number, um, and like within uh, seconds, he called and said, "Hey, already, come on!" And then that's Brother Christian, and she, said, it's lucky, and she said, "No way!" And they talked for about a couple seconds and said, "Hey, I, I want to hear, uh, I want to talk to your husband. Let me let me get uh, Nathan on the line." So I started talking with him, and we were real serious, and we prayed and 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 gave it to the Lord. Um, and then next thing you know, he said, okay, um, I'm ready. Cause, uh, uh, Christian always is ready. Like we should always be ready. You know, we don't got time to get ready. We always, we always got to stay ready. And, um, he, he shared a few things. And, um, next thing you know, uh, God introduced me to a, a guy by the name of, uh, Troy Gonzalez, um, former sound engineer out of Sony music. And this brother is just solid, you know, loves the Lord. And, uh, um, he, uh, God works in beautiful, uh, mysterious ways, you know, and so God led me to him and he says, yeah, brother, I'd love to work with you. I told him what was going on and he brought me into the studio, paid for us to go out there to Las Vegas um, to jump in his studio and get things going. And uh, next thing you know, it was On My Way. Uh, the, the, the song was called On My Way. And it was pretty much like, God, we'll be on our way um, to those that need uh, prayer, those that need hope. Um, anywhere everywhere because we know the god we serve so we don't fear anything you know because we serve a mighty god and god will go before us so it was in that concept where it was like you know okay god we'll be on our way just make 
one phone call, I'll be on my way to Compton, to Norwalk, to Lubbock, Texas, to um, Oxnard, um, you know, North Hollywood, et cetera, et cetera. South Central, bro. Um, Compton was the most exciting one there, right? Because God put us right in the middle of Compton. And you you know what happens with Compton, you know, but um, we serve a mighty God. So then we put the track together um, on my way. Um, I laid down my verse. Uh, at this time, Christian already sent it to my sound engineer, um, and it was ready, you know. But I tell you, I was nervous because I never, I didn't know how to be in a in a in a studio with a clean environment because I was used to getting drunk, getting stoned, snipping lines of coke when I was a wannabe hip hop artist. Um, I would do house parties, do little demo tapes uh, with my best friend, David uh, Mendes, who I love so much, and. Um, he kind of took me under his wing to kind of show us. We, we were supposed to be the corrupting dads of the hip hop industry, but our version from the Coachella Valley, but God had different plans. So, um, you know, so it was pretty cool that, uh, to, that I was, you know, I could pray um, before I, I entered into that studio um, and, and get in the word of God. Um, and so it was a real good environment, but I tell you, I was nervous, my brother. I was so nervous, you know, putting it together. And, um, you know, Christian Garcia is a solid brother in the Lord. And I thank God to this day for him, you know. And and uh, and so we, we God put it together. And next thing you know, the song was done. Oh. And uh, 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 Christian is now signed with Kingdom Music, um, overseen by Jesus Christ with Brian Trejo and Kingdom Music. And uh, solid brother, salute to you, my brothers. And, um, uh uh, Christian, you know, we got together and I think uh, someone told me, I'm not sure who it was, says, hey, you know, Brian's coming to Desert Hot Springs, California, uh, about maybe 25 minutes from where I, I'm from. And so I got up there and uh, and uh, I already used to listen to his music because of my best friend, Gabe. Um, to to Brian, you know, and the, min and the music and what he was doing. And I got hooked right away, but still, I wasn't properly discipled. I didn't fully surrender, but I would still listen to what Brian was saying through Christ, you know, through the Holy Spirit. Um, and then he came out. I got a chance to meet him, um, talk with him, and let him know who I was. And I, I think Christian told him a little bit about me. I would, um, and then they were going to go to Carlsbad, New Mexico. So within, like, uh, that same week, he came out. That following weekend, they were going to Carlsbad. And, and this is the God we serve, man, and God knows everything. So God already in, uh, uh, designed that appointment, you know, because he knew we uh, were already heading out there back home to Hobbs, New Mexico. And Carlsbad is about an hour uh, from my hometown where I was born. And so right there, Christian said, hey, we're going to meet for the first time. And if you're ready, let's do uh, the On My Way video right there. So I grabbed a brother by the name of Fabian from uh, my hometown of Hobbs, New Mexico. Salute to you, my brother. To God be the glory. And he jumped in to do the music video. And that was the first time I met Christian. And I tell you, we hit it off just like we, we knew each other. But we, now we really know each other because we're brothers in Christ. And that, that video on my way, I'm not sure if you have it up. But uh, you don't have to play it because it might knock me out again because that devil is a liar. <laughs> <laughs> well you know what i don't i don't i don't have that specific one but i do have the little one that we that we did you know so i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and try it and if it does kick you out it's okay we're not gonna let that happen we're gonna keep on bringing you up as many times as possible we're, we're gonna we're gonna put that that video that video was beautiful to god be the glory um i was talking to my youth pastor andrew and he gave me some feedback and I and uh, now he told me, you know, hey, your music's getting a, lo uh, a lot better for Jesus, because because I tell you, I was nervous. I didn't know how uh, uh, how, how to put a Christian uh, song for His glory together. But that's why you pray and seek the Lord and put Him first. Come on, somebody, if if it knocks me out, I'll be back in. Um, but but you can also check the full version out on the YouTube channel, as brother shared. Nathan David Sanchez and uh, on my way. Uh, if you got the clip, let's do it. Come on, somebody, yeah. day by day ministry. And, and here it is, guys. Hey, what you doing, Holmes? Hey, what's up, Holmes? You want to get down or what? Let's get down. Let's get down, eh? Whoa, 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 hold on. Brother 
Jesus and Christ coming with the truth of God's word to these wicked streets. Stomp out the devil every chance we get. Just like the scripture says, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Thank you, God, for my kids and my wife and all the gifts that you give and all the gifts that you give. <laughs> there it is. That was a fun day, man. We were. We were out there dancing for the Lord, and, and, and you were out there rapping for the Lord. It was 113 degrees. Uh, it was a hot day. <laughs> it, it was hot, but the pastor said uh, for the believer in Christ Jesus, that's the hottest it's going to get for us. Come on, somebody. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I love that one right there that we put together at La Bonita. Again, the, the, the full version of the video that we did in Carlsbad is on the YouTube channel. Scroll all the way down or just Google On My Way featuring Lucky Luciano, and it'll pop right up. Uh, praise God. Um, but that was fun right there. I, I, I remember meeting little Hater, and he kind of looks like you, but he's a little taller. And, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, that guy was something else. And I, I believe he <laughs> that day. He, I believe Brother Damon uh, Michael Hoffman laid hands on him. I, if I'm if I'm not mistaken, I'm gonna have to go back. But I think Little Hater gave uh, his life to Jesus Christ. You know, he made that personal relationship. So uh, say what's up to him. I, I think what he was. Uh, I don't know where he's at, but um, I love that that guy right there. Um, but with that said, yeah, bro. You know, it's just it's just a blessing um to continue to do the will of the Father um. You know, and uh, we're we're out here uh, to <laughs> proclaim his name so much because it's not for man to see or for likes. Um, it's to glorify my father in heaven, my Abba, my everything, my redeemer. You know, without him, I'm nothing. And, um, you know, I thank him uh, every single day because we're breathing because of him. And we're here right now because of him. And, and again, that's why I express Matthew 6, 33 so much. I can't express that so much. That's why uh, I put it on my arm right here. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, that's why I yes. put it on because the pastor I put in my life, he was so big on that. He's big on Matthew 6, 33 and the entire uh, Bible, you know, from, from word from word, verse on verse, um, top of verse, precept upon precept, um, you know. And uh, and so I had to get it on my arm because it was real big. That, uh, that was one of the first uh, scriptures that really, really tugged at my uh my nasty heart, you know, but now I, I, God gave me a heart of his, you know, and um, um, so, so, so I had to, I had to put it on my arm and uh, I, I tell you, uh, brother, brother, uh, uh, brother D, I don't want to give his full name, you know, because um, I want to respect him, but he's a solid brother too. Uh, his uncle's a pastor from one of the other fellowships out here in the Coachella Valley. Salute to all uh, those out there, the living word of the desert, um, the garden fellowship, um, uh, Victory Outreach, you know, those were some solid brothers that God put in my life um, that helped kind of restore and La Vida Nueva um, out there in Hobbs, New Mexico, you know, they all came in and helped restore it. And my brothers right now that, uh, that I'm rooted and grounded with at our at our home fellowship right now, you know. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah, so so Matthew 6, 33, you know, it's just putting God first in everything. Seek him, go for it. Um, you know, every time I have my grab your God first life planner, and I just pray on everything, whether it's a trip, whether we're going out to uh, ministry work, you know, because uh, I love to stay out on those streets. You know, I, that's where my pulpit's at, in those streets, for the murderers, the drug dealers, um, the alcoholics, the, the, the homosexuals, prostitutes, et cetera, et cetera. You know, um, I stand on the word of God and you will never catch me compromise the word of God. You know, I stand solid. And, 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 and I'm still a filthy sinner, you know, even though I don't do those and I'm not practicing the witchcraft, the sorcery, the drunkenness, you know, all of that. I'm still a filthy sinner you know? um, that, that, you know, uh, I struggle with jealousy, anger, you know, a lie, cussing. But that to me, those are natural things that God works in me day by day. Um, iron sharpens iron. And when you stay in the word of God, you know, because sometimes we don't want to read the Bible. We don't want to read. We don't want to pray. We don't want to go to the building. Uh, I'm just being real, you know, but it, it's it's uh, it's God first in my life uh, like it should have been uh, since 2014, the day that uh, he called me to that building. And, um, you know, but but things, we go through things. We go on we go on a spiritual uh, uh, a roller coaster ride. And I guess that's why they name us Dusty and Sandy. 
you know? Yeah, so, um, you know, so, yeah, uh, bro, it's it's just beautiful what God's doing right now and we'll continue to do it. Yeah, so you know, there, there's some there's some people out there that that um they're non-believers, right? And and they 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 say, ah, oh, you know, that's not for me. Right. And they have they have they have their they have their ways of, of of putting what you do down or talking ill about what you do, right? And sometimes people might, or even like people right now might ask me, why do you have them on your on your platform? And this is what I say. Look, when I started this channel, I said I'm inviting everybody, right? Everyone's invited, and I'm not going to let anybody out. If somebody has something that they want to say, then I'm going to bring you on to the – as long as it, it's, you have something, you know, like intelligent and with, with, with uh, you know, um, some thought behind it, then I'm going to invite you on, right? It's, my show's not going to be where people come in and just talk bad about one another and all that stuff, right? So that's kind of like, this is why, why he's here because, you know, uh, he's a good person. I've met him and you know what, um, what he does is a beautiful thing. Look, at the end of the day, if you're not, if you're a non-believer, if you don't believe or whatever, what my friend here does, doesn't hurt nobody. He's here to help yeah. people. And that's the beauty of what he does. And it's hard, you know, because I, I, I've seen people try to do what he does and, and, and people are not receptive to that, man. So, you know, I see this guy day in and day out out there doing what he does. And I, and I'm going to ask you, man, I'm going to ask you, um, you know, how, how do you find the strength to do that every single day? I mean, to go out there and you meet a, a, someone that's difficult and says, you know, like curses you out and says, it's not for me. I don't believe in that. Like what, how do you deal with stuff like that? Um, by the, there's this, uh, well, it's one of my favorite scriptures. It talk well, all of them are my favorites. You know, I love, I love this whole Bible, but it speaks about the fruits of the spirits and having self-control. And uh, so I take that real, real big and, uh, believe me, you know, the flesh wants to resurrect. I've had people come, uh, about almost run us over, uh, give us the middle finger, um, curse back right in front of me. We were out at grocery outlet and, uh, the owner, I don't know what got into him that day, but I know it was the enemy, but it's not always the devil. You know, that's just how we're living in those times. They don't want to hear about the Lord. They want to live their lives. They want to continue in what they're doing. But again, I, I always come in love um, first and foremost because Jesus is love. And um, without love, you don't got nothing. You've got no business being out there. But again, I will not compromise the word of God. So I just come in love and it's the fruit of the spirit, self-control. And uh, you just stay there, you know, and that's how I knew God is really working in my life because never once have I let anybody get that close to me because you would have been taken out quick. And I'm not talking with a strap or a knife. I'm talking about these fists, you know, I would have took you out quick. Nobody gets that close to me. Um, and so I still struggle with things. But but yeah, it's the fruit of the spirit, having self-control and knowing that um, um, Jesus went to the cross in love. You know, we just celebrated resurrection weekend you know um we should celebrate that every single day every day is resurrection day you know um and it was love that held him to that cross it wasn't those nails it was love so that's kind of way i go about it you know i'm um, in love peace joyful um every single thing of the fruit of the spirits but uh yeah so it's self-control for me and knowing that god sent me there so i gotta just kind of tame the tongue which is hard as it tells us in the book of james um, so I just tame the tongue and know that I'm going for the Lord. The Holy Spirit's in me. Christ is, lives in me. So I got to just come in love. And I believe me, bro, I want to I want to take them out, you know, but I can't, uh, you know, so God's working in me every day. He works in us. So I would just say self-control it is um, because how am I going to show them the love of Christ if I'm out there getting angry and cursing back in their their face? It ain't going to get nowhere but back in jail or because when they call the cops, they run my record. The world's quick to throw that in your face because the world judges. You know, I'm I'm clean. I'm I'm washed white as snow because of the blood of Jesus Christ. And that doesn't mean I'm perfect, but God sees me holy through his son Christ Jesus. I still can't comprehend that and how he throws my sins as far as to the east as to the west and buries them under the sea and remembers them no more. I can't comprehend that in this thinking thinking mind that I have or this uh flesh, because it always wants to resurrect. So mm -hmm. again. Every morning I wake up, I kill that flesh. I put a pillow and I suffocate that flesh until there's no more and it's just Jesus. 
fully in me, full of the Holy Spirit, spirit led, um, you know, full with that living water. Um, so I, I kill that flesh because that flesh is going to want to resurrect, go uh, take me to the show grows, go take me to the pot shops, to the liquor store. Um, and again, it doesn't mean I'm perfect or I'm better than anybody because I'm not. And I'll tell you straight out, you know, I'm not. I'm a filthy sinner saved by his grace, you know, just clinging on to Jesus Christ day by day, iron sharpens iron. And I express that so much because I got some solid brothers out in Oxnard and we're big on that, you know, um, and, and presenting the gospel in a truthful way and backing everything up with scripture. So I got to come in self-control and just uh, knowing that, that Jesus died for them. But I tell you, bro, uh, we were around the corner. I think brother was with us, Damien, Michael Hoffman and my son, Micah, and a car comes speeding around at the green light um, and, and about like hit the curb and flipped off my son. Like it, it was real bad. That day I wanted to jump in my car and go right after him because he got stuck at two red lights and I would have caught him. But it would have been, you know, what, what would I be showing them? Because because God fights my battles. I go to my knees and pray. Um, but, yeah, so it would just be self-control. But I can't uh, tell man, there's more that I could tell you. But, you know, I want to keep it, uh, you know, somewhat uh, decent on this live, you know. But um, find me out in those yeah. streets. You know, wherever we're at, come out and you'll see for yourselves. You know, I always invite everybody out there because I need uh, my brothers and my sisters in Christ behind me. You know, my wife needs her sisters in Christ behind her. I need my brothers in Christ behind me. But right now, so, so, so many people are in fear and fear, fear and faith do not mix. They don't go hand in hand. You got to be put your full faith in him and your full trust in him. But we got a lot of the body of Christ that's so divided. There's so much division. I, I don't know why. But I just pray for each and everybody that the body of Christ will unite in love because there's there's a big, big old issue with that right now. But we're called to go to our knees because God still receives an email. And I chunk it up in Jesus' name because, but again, yeah, uh, there's been many occasions. Um, we were just out recently and, and people were slamming doors in our face. You know, my son Micah had to see all that, you know, and uh I have to tell him what the Bible says, and I, I have to tell him because he gets angry himself. He struggles. He just like his dad, you know, or his earthly father, I should say, because my kids are loaned to me. Our life's but a vapor, you know, and so he takes after after <laughs> this this wrecked, you know, filthy sinner. But my, my son Micah loves Jesus, and it's and it's awesome that I have him out there with me and my wife and my kids, because for me and my household, we shall serve the Lord. You know, ministry starts at home. If my house is not in order, then I got no business to being out there, you know, straight up, you know. And so I talk to my wife and kids and I tell us, you know, we well, we ain't going because we're not ready. We don't have, you know, we don't need to be out there like that when our house is not in order. Any pastor would tell you that any real pastor, because we have a lot of uh, false prophets right now rising up and uh, uh, sugarcoating the word of God. They some puppets on that pulpit, man. You know, they're, they're sugarcoated. They. And, and all that, but yeah, self control. Straight up, um, when I'm out there, it's just that self control and uh, and just God working and and allowing the Holy Spirit to to move because we always got to be spirit led, spirit filled. It goes both ways. Yeah, for sure, man. You know what you 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 say how it is, man, and and uh, you know what I it's it's the 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 negative people, the demon, the devil. It's everywhere, man, and. And you have to find strength within yourself, strength within the Lord. You kind of like let people not test you and push you because w once it finds like its little hooks and it's able to like kind of like grab onto you, it pulls you down, and and and, yes. and then it pulls you down to to that level, and then you start becoming something that you either were from your past, and and the evil starts and you feel it rising and bubbling, and those thoughts, uh, you know, start coming up, and you're like, this is why I used to be, and this is how I I handle you know these problems. And then, like, when you're bedded and you realize that it's like, I left that life behind. It's like, you know, it's it's like you said, the flesh is strong and, 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 it, and, it, and it grabs you, right? So it's like you have to make conscious uh, uh, decisions and say, I left the flesh. And I, and I said, and this is not about me, right? So it's like I struggle with that myself, too, when people piss me off and I want to do stuff like that. But I realize that I'm walking a path, right? And I see where that path is going. And I know that this path is beautiful and that's where I need to be. But by paying attention to all these other factors will stray you from their path, man. So it's, it, it's, it's a beautiful thing that Nathan, uh, you know, is on here saying his stuff and, and it's beautiful, man, explaining everything that, that, you know, come, 
comes within uh, believing in yourself, the Lord, and all that beauty, man. Thanks for coming on here, uh, Nathan. <laughs> yeah, my <laughs> thing. Privilege to God be the glory. Um, because I don't know who this is for, you know. Um, it's somebody out there that needs to seek the Lord, you know. But but and and by by you're not going to be holier than now. You know, He's going to work in your life if you allow Him to work in your life. That that Bud Wiser is going to taste different because we know God is wiser. That Bud Light's going to taste different. Then we got to shine our light. You know, um, the marijuana is going to taste different, and, and and it doesn't happen right away. It can. It can, you know, we serve a powerful God, but you allow the, the spirit to work in you day by day, you know, iron sharpens iron. I express that so much because that's the ministry um, that God allowed me to be a part of, uh, overseen by his precious son, Jesus Christ. And I love those solid brothers, man. They some humble dudes. If they're tuning in right now, I love you, my brother. Salute. I'll see you out in Oxnard, Lord willing, this weekend, because tomorrow's not promised, you know. And um, there's some solid brothers, and I can't wait to wrap up these uh these loving arms around them. You know, I miss them so much. We stay in touch on the phone, the Instagram, but I have not seen those brothers. And those listening right now, please, please continue to pray for our brother Paul Murillo um, and his wife. And uh, they're big in the ministry. And uh, we wouldn't have day by day uh, family, iron sharpens iron. Without Christ, most important, but without them, they do a lot. Um, brother Eric Avila, chosen. He was the artist from uh, Day by Day Ministries. Uh, brother Gabriel. Uh, excuse me, Lord, I forget pastor's name. There's so much things coming through my, my head right now. And uh, the Lord rebuke you, devil, you know, <laughs> because it's a lot of thinking, thinking that goes on, you know. Um, but yeah, yeah, bro, it's it's your strength for today in Jesus' name. You know, okay, Lord, today's a new day. Your mercies are new every day. And a whole lot of people don't even know that, that his mercies are new every single day. Whatever we did uh, yesterday, it's long gone. It's never going to come back. So let's try for a better day than yesterday, but not in no perfect way because Jesus was perfect. You know, um, I'm not perfect, man. I fell. You could ask my my kids. They'll tell you the truth. You know, my, I don't have the perfect marriage, but I thank God every day that he gave me my precious wife, his daughter, you know, April. Um, and I, I love her so much. That's why I got it right here. I, I, I put her name on there because uh, I, I'm really blessed um, that I got on this one. It says blessed. Um, because I'm, I'm married to God's daughter, but I'm even more blessed because I got my sins on the cross and not on me anymore. You know, um, uh, I'm just a walking testimony, you know, bro. Uh, uh, when the cameras are off, uh, you see me in fellowship. You see me in men's prayer. Um, you see me in the word of God. I'm out there praying. Uh, we see people hurting, you know, the spirits in us and it leads us to help out if we can. Ask my wife, she'll tell you everything, man, babe. You, you, you're always there for anybody at any time because again, I'm not, there's no good person in me. There's no, not one, you know, that, uh, I'm just a filthy, wretched sinner, you know, saved by his precious grace. And that's all he calls us for that insurance over him. Because when we leave this earth, you're going to two places, heaven or hell, smoking, non-smoking. I tell you that right now. Um, and, and I respect all those, what they believe in, but I'm here to stand on the word of God and tell you, uh, God through Christ Jesus calls us for repentance and um, and to make a personal relationship because when we gone and we die without Christ, I'm sorry, there's no resting in peace. You're going to burn in hell with all seven senses for all eternity, and they're going to wish that they had that drop of water. That also explains in Scripture. That's why the Lord spoke so much of hell because he's not a God that wants to condemn. You know, we're all tempted by the devil, and we fell, you know, Um but, but Christ redeemed us through his precious blood. It was the sacrifice, you know. We just celebrated uh, Resurrection Day, you know. But we should celebrate that every day because he lives. He lives inside of us. And uh, we need Jesus Christ. And it doesn't mean you're going to be perfect, none of that. But allow him to work in you and, and take me up on it. Hold my feet to the fire. Because I, I don't want to say I was an atheist um, because I used to serve the devil. I was selling drugs, um, giving pills to my wife to slang, um, you know, doing a lot of stuff. Um, so, so I knew um, God. I only knew of God, um, and 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 through that, through my grandmother again. You know, I love Grandma Josie. I know I'll see you again because I know what my Bible tells me. Uh, those that are died in Christ will be reunited with those loved ones up in the heaven gates. You know, um, so um, I I know I know that um, you know I'm striving just for His righteousness every day is a blessing to be above ground. 
Um, every day he gives me is a day that I want to serve him, another day to serve Jesus Christ. Um, again, you know, because we all struggle with many things. And ask any of my homeboys out there in the streets if I ever came and shoved the word of God down their throats. They'll tell you, nope, he'll always come in love. He spends time with us. But I, I, uh, I uh, like Daniel, Daniel always purpose, purposed in his heart and prayed everywhere he went. So I got to do the same thing because if I stay there long enough, next thing you know, because uh, my flesh is still weak. Like I keep expressing, it wants to resurrect. But I got real homeboys out there that show that love and respect. And and I tell them straight out, I ain't no better than you. Hell no. Somebody better, like, you know, put me down if I act like that. Because I'm a humble dude filled with humility, uh, out to do the will of the Father and stay about his business and give them love, 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 love. And, and again, I won't compromise. I'll tell you what the Bible says, back everything up with scripture. Um, and the thing, you know, I, I, God, I thank God for my mother-in-law, Rhonda. Uh, I seen the light of Christ through her. She was always loved. That's my wife, April's uh, mother, of course. And I thank God for you. Uh, if you're tuning in, I love you so much because she prayed. She prayed for my salvation. And she told me that um, uh, back in 2004, when I said I gave my life to Jesus Christ in the building, you know, um, I was ready, and then she had pulled me to the side, and uh, it still tears me up to this day because I thank God for her so much in my life because, and, and my grandma, you know, because it's real out there, you know, and I didn't know what I was getting myself into, and I was a gambling man, but I tell you, this was a bet that I'd never refuse, and I thank you, Rhonda, out there, if you're tuning in. I love you so much, and I still thank God every single day for you, my grandmother, and, and my aunties, and uh you know, the pastors that you put in my life because uh, I was shameful and I was embarrassed to go back to them and say, you know what, I'm, I'm backsliding. Um, uh, I'm going through this. And people know, you know, like we're under a microscope. You're under a microscope when you serve the God Almighty. They watch every single thing, whether it's taking a toke of the blunt or the pipe, uh, sniffing lines of coca, you know, whatever. They're, oh, I thought you said you were a believer in Jesus Christ, you know, um, or oh, I thought you were a Christian. Uh, uh, whatever it may be, you know, but they'll, they'll, they'll tell you straight out and you'll be a hypocrite, you know. Um, that's why so many people uh, don't come to the Lord because of so many people like that, you know. But um, they don't know that, you know, when you come to Jesus Christ, your sins are forgiven past, present, future. Uh, there's no condemnation for those in Christ Jesus. And it's hard to um, explain that now because it's just so divided. The, the, the buildings have gone just... I don't know where they gone, but I'm praying, you know, because nobody's teaching on repentance. Nobody's teaching on hell. Uh, everything that's going on right now as we speak on this live, it's all in the word of God. It's all in the book of Revelations, uh, the book of Acts, Matthew 24, um, uh, Ezekiel, I believe, what, 38, 39, if I'm not mistaken. God forgive me. Um, it's all lining up with, with God's word. You know, the next big thing that happened is the harpazo of the church. Of God's What's precious that? children. Yeah, this is the rapture. It's the rapture. Okay. It could be the rapture for the rupture, but I'm telling you, the next big thing about to happen and hold my feet to that um, is the rapture of God's precious children. He's coming for a, a bride without spot or blemish, my brother. Like, that's the next big thing. The mark of the beast is on its way. Uh, look what they did with the pandemic, the COVID shots. Um, and don't get me on that, you know, because I don't want to get into none of that. I respect everybody and what they chose to do, you know, but I, I, I'm led by the Holy Spirit. So otherwise, um, I ain't going to do what, what the world calls us to do. Um, but I'm telling you, the rapture's on its way. We got to get serious. Um, he's coming because um, we don't want to be left behind for that seven years of tribulation. I could take you right here to the book of Revelations that talks about it. But I think we got a couple minutes left. Um, but with that said, um, um, make that per personal relationship with Jesus Christ. And I tell you, uh, the Two most important things in life. Uh, the first one is Jesus Christ making that personal relationship. The second is who you're going to marry in this life you lead, without Christ or with Christ. But I'm guaranteed, I tell you right now, give your life to Jesus Christ. Surrender all right now. Um, you know, hold my feet to it because that rapture is on its way. Um, and I want to salute everybody for tuning in. I think we got less than a minute or something. Um, but again, you know, Jesus, 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 first relationship seek him seek first the kingdom of god and all his righteousness will be added to you 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 and i love each and every one of you i love all my homeboys in the streets all my homegirls in the streets i love all my family i love you brother thank you again for this time 
Um, um, you know, I wish we had more time, but this is all God wanted us to share. But seek first the Lord. Give your life to Jesus Christ. Today is the day of salvation. Tomorrow's not promised, you know. Um, I could go after this life feed. I could get in a car accident, but I know where I'm going. I know where my destination is, and it's in heaven, you know, with God all eternity. John 3.16, you know, it explains for itself. Read John 3.16. Um, just get to a local church, um, uh, excuse me, a local building, because, again, we are the church. Um, get into a Bible teaching building where they teach the word of God, and they're going to teach you on how to um, to be a uh, 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 a man of God or a woman of God. So thank you everybody for just tuning in um, on this live stream. Thank you for all the subscribers. I love my brother JR Tacos and Workouts. And uh, before we go, brother, I wish you were right here because La Bonita said, Tacos! <laughs> oh, man, I, lo I love them guys and I love you too, brother. Listen, man, um, <laughs> Uh, did, did we lose him? Look, oh, I think he's gonna he's gonna do it. He's gonna ah, oh, there he there, he did it. That's right. That's good. That's good stuff right there, man. Man, this is this is my brother. There it is, man. Having the good stuff. Look, man, this this is uh my brother in Christ right here, and and this is not the last time. Um, you're invited to come back, you know, on the show whenever you want to come back. Maybe we'll do some some uh you know some uh, Bible verses and, and and dissect the Bible a little bit and scriptures and stuff like that. So when you said that the time is limited, um, I mean, you, you'll come back and, and, and we'll invite you to the platform whenever you want to come back. I want to thank uh, everybody who uh, watched this live uh, podcast. It's going to be available. Do me a huge favor and, and uh, subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification. But more importantly, support my brother here, uh, uh, Nathan David Sanchez, on his journeys, you know, on his hip hop and, you know, you, you know, wherever he may be, may the Lord be with him. And you know what? Uh, this is not the last time, and we invite you back, brother, whenever you want to come back. Hey, you know, anytime, brother. And uh, if I don't see you in the future, I'll see you in the past year. If not, I'll see you at the next stop in Jesus' mighty name. Come on, somebody. <laughs> All right, man. Thank you, Ned. And we'll definitely see each other. I, 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 th I think I got to go to La Bonita and have me some of those tacos, man. You 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 know how to get me. <laughs> Don't call us calorie people for nothing. Come on, somebody. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. Once again, thank you for everybody who, who, who participated on the live podcast. Thank you for everybody who's watching us now on the repeat. And we'll catch you guys soon. All right. Thanks, everybody. Subscribe to the channel, please. Thanks. Oh, man. <laughs>